the four critical questions, I will give you a little bit of history about how, why we want to do this. You know, you know in Singapore, because of our high state uh, examinations, we saw that the learning gaps between the lowest achieving students and the rest of the pupils seem to be getting wider and wider as the teachers became more driven by getting good results. Then we say, this can't go on. We must uh, have some way to you know, inform the teachers that they must teach everybody. They must help everybody achieve. So Richard Dufo's uh, four essential questions are very useful for us to frame that because the teachers not only should think about what do they expect their pupils to learn, but also to know how they are learning, how do they respond when they do not learn, and how do they respond when they already know it. So you can see that essentially question three and question four has got to do with differentiated instruction. So we do not want the teachers to be neglecting the pupils who may be struggling in the classroom. And in Singapore, we believe that um, if you want to change a mindset, training is the best way to go. Because when somebody is, has learned something new, the tendency is the mindset change will come. However, if you just tell the person to do it, you know, just do this, use this, it's more difficult because the, they haven't picked up the skills. That is the reason why we have a lot of training on this. How can you do this? This actually helps the teacher to frame themselves before they even enter the classroom. It is very good for planning. But these four questions will help them to do the planning easily, even when they are on the bus, in a train, or even when they are showering. You know?